Alrighty, Honors Chem students, you should have already emailed me the copy of your edited CER from our Conservation of Mass Lab from last week. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure you email that over to me. Your final task for today is to read this data nugget on picky eaters. Um, so you're going to read the um, research that was done here. Here is their um, work that was done. So you notice they have a question, they have a hypothesis, and you need to underline different things, do a couple different um things here. You need to identify the variables and then you're going to be making three separate graphs and then you're going to be interpreting that data. Um, notice here that there's a spot to put a claim, a spot to put an evidence, and a spot to put your reasoning. You have two options here. You may either put your separate claim, evidence, and reasoning in here and then write your complete CER all together on a separate, doc um, on a separate document or you can skip listing them separately and just go to step two and write your CER right away. Remember, you need to have one claim, three pieces of evidence, and three different reasonings. Notice at the end there are two extra questions to complete as well. Um, I don't want you to use a PDF editor to do this um, worksheet here, so you have two options. You can either print this document out if you have access to a printer, or please complete this on a separate sheet of paper, um, like a separate Google Doc. If you're completing it on a separate Google Doc, make sure you write out what question you're answering. So if you're saying, what is the hypothesis, say hypothesis, and then type it out. Um, if you're answering, what is the independent variable, type independent variable, and then put your answer. So I know what your answers are pertaining to. If you have any questions, please let me know. That Google Doc or that um, pictures of the written portion of this um, document that you complete will need to be submitted on Canvas, so make sure you get that in and also make sure you've emailed me if you haven't already. Thank you.